Hey you guys, okay so today I am sharing with you my top secret lash secrets. I've done two different things here. I'm gonna flash back in a second and take you through the whole thing but I kinda wanted to do my intro here at the end to share with you guys what we're gonna be talking about today. So, I am it's no secret. I feel like, okay, so I'm not going to be this person that comes on here and is like, look at this great result. I can just use mascara and just look at this. It's great. I have good lashes. I know that you'll see in a second that they pretty much look like nothing when there's nothing on them. So I do think the fact that this is totally my natural lashes and I can use um, a mascara that gives that effect is really good because not all of mine do that and not all of mine feel smooth when you build them. I have found a very, very good mascara. I'm going to talk about the lash ser serum that I have been using recently. Um, it's the brow serum that I've been using for about a year now, but I'll talk about that. And lash extensions, you guys. So, um, what do you think? I'm kidding. These aren't lash extensions, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I went and got lash extensions on just one half. No. Um, if you like that look, I'm going to show you how you can use individual lashes to give you that. Also, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my fave... I wish both eyes looked like that because I really do like that. I'm wearing no makeup on this eye, no liner, no nothing. It's just... Except for the lashes, and it's just so easy. Did I put a little bit of mascara? I did very lightly. But y'all, it's just such an easy look. I think that we get so fiddly with like our makeup and our liner. We do this and that. Then you think, nope, lashes are too much. Like it's too, too much trouble. It's so easy, you guys. You can do it so quickly. Of course, when you do individuals, you know, you'll have to put the glue on in place, put the glue on in place. Um, I have four on, but I'm going to show you how I kind of split some in half to like give you a better result and show you the best ones. Because sometimes I use those little hairy ones that have like three hairs. You know, what I'm you know what I'm talking about. And you can't even see them. So these are very satisfying, these ones that I'm going to show you. And I'm also going to show you, before I applied these, I applied some really natural false lashes that feel so comfortable if you have no lashes, if your lashes are not the greatest, but you're like, okay, I don't want to look like a showgirl every day either, where I'm like the big caterpillar, like bug lashes, you know, um, but you just want to have like, you know, a better kind of natural look, kind of maybe like this. I will show you the ones you need to get. They are inexpensive. That is important. If you're going to be wearing them a lot, you don't want to be splurging on you know, some more expensive ones. So I'm going to show you some that I really do like. They're so lightweight. The glue makes a difference. I'm going to show you that. And um, kind of a method that, and of course, like I said, I didn't use any liner here, but a method that I used over here that um, kind of, I mean, it's a very light liner, but I do it after the fact. So you just do just as much as you need. It'll make sense when I show you in a second. My point here is that you do not have to have amazing lashes for your lashes to look amazing. And I will show you all my secrets. I'm going to show you how I take care of mine. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will link to everything that I'm wearing below. And, um, and yeah, let's get into it. Here are my lashes. They're not bad, right? I mean, they're good. But what I'm saying is... They really do look so much different with mascara. I mean, it's a huge difference. But this is the serum that I've been using. It's the I Wonder by Monate, and it is the Lash and Brow Enhancing Serum. Um, I've gone through a few of them. I just pile it on my lashes or my brows at night and in the morning too. Um, in the morning, I comb it out a little more because it can look a little flaky as it dries if you really pile it on like I do. But I feel like it's really filled in, um, it's really made this area right here grow in so it doesn't look so like bloop, you know what I'm saying? Like it made it look a little smoother. I've also been using it right at my lash line too. I use it at night and I use it in the morning. Let it dry 10 minutes before you do your mascara. I mean, or your eyeliner or makeup or anything like that. Mine are good, but I just want to keep them nice and thick and in good shape. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have tons of just little ones. And it may just be like a new growth phase, but I just have never... Um, Usually mine just, without mascara, they don't look quite this good. I'm gonna demonstrate this mascara. So it's a very brushy brush, and what I love about it is because it's a brushy brush, you can do this, which is what you should do. Kinda close your eyes a little, and wedge it, and pull it up. You know what I mean? That was just very lightly, but I do feel like that's such a big difference, you guys. I actually skip my lower lash line a lot of the time, but I do like to use this one. Then when it dries for a minute, you can easily do a second coat without it looking um, clumpy. You can see that like, I mean, look, they don't look like this before. I mean, it really does make a difference. Like the ends of mine are like right there. It just really lengthens like crazy, right? And how amazing is it that this is not combed through at all? That's nuts. So I do one of two things. So I take either the Urban Decay Zero pencil, make sure it's sharp enough. You just kind of go behind your lashes and you smudge it in. 
in tiny little areas where you need it. Now listen, this is why I like to do it after. Normally I always do my liner before, you guys know that. But if you're looking for this look, which is a little more subtle, it just keeps you from applying too much. But I have been loving this, you guys. It's the Buxom, the Kajal. See, it's like just really cool. It fits right behind, you see that? So you can just easily get that right where you need it. You can even do this before, like I said, but my point of doing it after is so I don't apply too much. Take a little smudge brush and just smudge it right on out. Just such an easy way to make your lashes look thick. You can even take a black eyeshadow. This is from a Maneater palette. And then just pull it up like that. See, I just kind of really smudged it there. Isn't that a cool look? I just think it's so easy and it just makes your lashes look huge. Doesn't that look like I did more than I did? I, I just feel like it's just so easy. You don't even have to use eyeshadow or anything. It just could not be simpler. Now, as far as lashes are concerned, if you don't have like great lashes and you're like, you know, I just want that look, put on some false lashes. I think 81 can have that effect. And my favorites have been these, the Eyelore Wispies. The 155 is pretty hard to find and I didn't know that. So a lot of you guys were kind of having an issue finding them when I was talking about them, but the 115 is good. Um, it's very similar, but the 117 I think is the ones that I are the ones that I like the most. You can get these because I know they've been sold out. The Huda Samanthas. These are just like very wispy, almost like that little squirrely look where like some pieces are just very long and wispy. I love these, and for a thicker band, they're very comfortable and they don't lift. Let me show you kind of how long and wispy they are. I'm not gonna put them on for real, but. I think a lot of times when I do lashes, I honestly just really love to put it on with this look, like with nothing, you know what I mean? Um, let me just kind of throw them on so you can see. It's not going to be perfect, but just so you can kind of see. Um, they're just very wispy and beautiful. They could be a little closer to my lash line, but I don't have glue on them. Do you see what I'm saying? They're just beautiful without looking like caterpillars on your lashes. They give you that beautiful, thick, like, luxe effect, you know? I'm going to use the wispy number 117. And these are not gonna look overly fake or like, oh gosh, you know, I'm really wearing like false eyelashes. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you just want a good look for every day that makes it look like you've got beautiful lashes, this is a, such a good option. You can pile on a little mascara on top of them. If you do this, your lashes, you probably won't be able to wear them over and over, you know, because that kind of gets a little gross. You'll probably want to dispose of them after. So find you a good, cheap pair. Good, right? So that I think gives a very similar look if you don't have lashes. So don't think you can't get the same look. You can totally get the same look. Let me um, let me just take these off because I want to show you guys what you can do with individuals. These are the HBIC babies, the little Urban Decay lashes. These are like the best thick, really long wispy ones that I've found. Put obviously the longer ones toward, you know, the outer middle, whatever. Then there's smaller ones from the inside. And I just want to kind of show you what I can do with these because I don't know if I've ever really done individual lashes on here before, but I just want to kind of show you how easy this can be. You could use tweezers to apply these. I normally just use my fingertips whenever I'm doing lashes, even like little individual ones. What I love about this glue is that you don't have to like blow on it forever. It really kind of gets tacky and very sticky very quickly. You literally just like lay them down. Like you just place them and it just kind of starts building. Like, look, you can't even see them. They're like pretty natural looking. So that one was kind of doubled up a little. When you pull these out, you can actually pull them apart. Each little individual bundle is kind of bundled in two. So if you like want to use the long ones, but then you want to get closer to the middle and not look, again, like caterpillar and you really want them to be a little thinner, kind of work with those and you can separate them a little. And it comes, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's just literally like two stuck together and so the second one so it's kind of like a very thin band this one is just like one wispy one now you, want, you don't want people to think you have lash extensions but it's kind of that flir flirty kind of like squirrelier look so right here is where i put the doubled up thick one right here i put a th you know i separated and then on the outer corner i'm going to put one more um, the, the other part of that one that I separated. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. I'll pull one out and kind of show you what it does. But um, it's worth mentioning. I think these are just so easy to do and they can just, I think this is probably the best set of individual lashes ever. So I put, usually I think if I'm gonna do this, like three is good. Um, you can put one on the inner corner. A lot of times I don't love that look. Like I don't like to get too many lashes like toward the middle. And after that adheres, I'll kind of brush that out a little. I just wanted to get it really close to the hair. 
um, like to my natural ones. Um, so that's kind of a cool look. I'm not done with it, but I'll show you. Um, so, okay, yeah, toward the top of the pack, they're the shorter ones. I used all the longer ones, so I only used two. I used, you know, one that was doubled up and then one. So let me show you what it does. So when you pull it out, like I just pulled one out, um, this is like the first one that I applied. It looks honestly like one piece melded together. If you kind of work with it a little bit, kind of pull it, just be very gentle because you don't want to mess up the hairs. It'll come apart into two and then you can kind of work it at the base and you can pull it across, pull it apart. Little, see? Cool. So guys, I really do love that. I think that these are the best individual lashes you can get. I still gotta brush out that little one. But um, what I like to do on the inner corner, I'm like, I could totally just leave it. I could have just applied two of them and been fine. But just to show you what you could do on the inner corner, I get a short one, which are these at the very top. Um, I separate it, like I said. And honestly, for this one, I just kind of worked it at the base instead of pulling, you know, the actual hairs, because like I said. Um, and when you do separate them, you could, you know, say, okay, well, this is one for each eye, or, you know, like I did, I used, like, two. I just kind of wanted to do each eye a little different so I could show you. It's a little harder to grab onto because it's shorter, and I definitely don't feel like I need anything on that inner corner, but I just want to show you that they don't look scary if you did want to do them there. And that gave me just a little more thickness in the middle. Let me kind of comb this one out a little. I'm just using my brow pencil. I started using lingering again. Do you guys remember? I really like it, too. So coming out obviously helped a lot. I just didn't want to like, if you notice they look a little clumpy or something, don't start working with them right as the glue sets. Wait till it dries for a couple minutes like I did. So it's just a kind of a different effect. You could just do like one, you know, just do like one accent or just two. I would just sometimes just lay one on there, you know, like a half one that looks a little more natural, that'll blend. I love how the little box, you can store them in. I mean, I think more false lashes, I get they're trying to keep costs down and stuff like when you buy more inexpensive ones. Um, so the packaging may not always be super nice, but how nice is this? I just think so easy just to keep in your makeup stash and it just kind of has like a little magnetic closure. You can see inside of them. I think find the ones that are good for you. Find the ones that are right for you. I think I've given you guys some good options. I have tried, I've tried so many false lashes, guys. And like I said, most of the time I just, you know, I, ha I have my natural lashes. I don't, you know, feel like I have to do false lashes all the time. But it is something that I've gotten a lot more into. And I think, why not? You know, it's just fun and easy. So if you kind of want that extension effect, get these. I don't think I need lash extensions by any means. I think if I did it, it would just be kind of a fun, like, extra thing. But my thing is, is I've, I've heard people that they've had experiences where it does damage your natural lashes a little bit over time. And I feel like if mine weren't great to begin with, I'd be like, nah, who cares? But I don't, I don't want to damage mine, you know, because I think they're good. So, but if you do like that look, this is a good option. And then if you're intimidated by like the lash glue and all that, just grab you some of this. It works no matter what. I'm not big on the dark lash glue for obvious reasons, because a lot of times I don't even wear any makeup behind them. I'm not trying to cake them on on top of like a big giant black thick line, which I do sometimes. This still works. So um, yeah, the dual brush on adhesive, like I said, sometimes when you do remove your lashes, you'll notice a little bit of a stickiness left behind that you can't really pick off. Just take some, take some makeup remover. Sometimes you need a little more than like a wipe and um, just wipe it off. And I will link to my favorite makeup remover that actually dissolves that and that is gentle. And then if you're curious about my lip color, it is the... Um, Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in Ruthless. And I really, really love it. I'm really comfortable, really good. Okay, so thank you guys so much. I hope that you found some things that you might wanna try. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.